Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a date night, get ready with me. John and I are going to the movies tonight. I think it's gonna be really fun, and I want to share with you guys my date night makeup for summertime and the summer transitioning into fall and a cute outfit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely hit that subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me and my channel so much, and I really, really appreciate it, and I can't thank you guys enough for watching and supporting me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's just get right into it. All right, you guys, so all my makeup is off. I pre-filmed the intro. I got out of the shower, blow drying my hair, so this is just kind of what we're working with for tonight. I have these short little pieces, which I absolutely love, but I'm gonna be using this pink fuzzy headband to keep my hair out of my face while we get the makeup. It kills me when these little pieces flip out like that, but we are gonna be starting off with this Pixie product. So this has been in my makeup bag forever and this scratched off, but this is a vitamin C primer. As you guys might have seen in previous videos, I like to use this Pixie Rose radiator and I love this stuff, especially because it adds a nice glow to your skin. But since it's day night, I'm gonna be putting a primer on. So I just kind of squish it up a little bit, snaps off like this and it's a thicker consistency than the pink one. The pink one kind of goes on like a more oily, but this one's thicker. I like it just so my makeup stays and then I just kind of blend it in with my hands. I also am so excited to share with you guys what I'm wearing tonight because I just pulled out this sweater since it's like that awkward transitioning to fall season. So I put this on. I'm not going to use this one. And I like to start off with my foundation. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 120 Classic Ivory. Just unscrews like this. I love the packaging. I've been using this stuff for years. But I also really want to try out a new foundation. So if you guys have any drugstore makeup recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. I'm just going to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and pouring it on here. I love this stuff, especially for full coverage. So that's what it looks like. I did wash this, it just kind of stained it. And then I just kind of put big splotches all over and then dab it in. I read somewhere that you can start with like, your nose and work out. And I think it does help and then also fun tip if you're new to using a sponge which they've been around for a while but you want to get them wet before you use them and i find that really helpful like damp so like what i'll use is my makeup eraser and like rinse it and then use that so i don't stain a towel or anything because your makeup does get kind of in it recently this is so funny you guys i have been forgetting to put my under eye concealer on since we just got back from the beach and I'll get like all the way done and I typically like lay out all my makeup and then put it away into the makeup bag and this will be like standing out and I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I forget to put that on? I guess that's a good problem to have, but today we are definitely going to be wearing some. I also have like a breakout right here and here and I'm just struggling with it a little bit. I don't like putting a ton of makeup on when I have breakouts just because I feel like they heal quicker, but today's... A date day so i'm going to be using this cover girl cream concealer and this is in the shade 710 light pale i use this year round especially when i have a tan but even when i don't and i just kind of put like a little bit right there and i'll blend it out i'm going to cover up those little blemishes that i was telling you guys about i used my ice roller today to help with that and it really did feel better and then i think i have a blemish right here okay and I do like to put a little bit on my chin. So close that up. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just dab it in gently. And I don't like to go too crazy with the beauty blender because then I feel like it spreads it out too thin, especially like on top of a blemish. There we go. And then get the under eye. Oh my gosh, this headband. I look you really want headbands to come back. They're so practical. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm curious when you do your makeup, what's the order? Do you do blush or contour first? Like every other day I change it. So I'm feeling like we're gonna start with contour today. And this is the Wet n Wild, what is this called? Dual Ended Contour Stick. And I love it. I've been using so many cream makeup products lately and I just am so happy with it. So this is the contour side. I wonder if there's a shade for this. I am medium tan. So that is like my summertime color. And so I'll just kind of go 
make a kissy lip and get my cheeks. And then I like to get a little bit on my forehead. Again, it just kind of makes you look a little bit tanner. And then I like to do my nose. That's really it. So that's done. And then I do like the highlight side and I sometimes will do this. So I'll just put some right here. Some on my chin again. Kind of brighten up my cheeks just a bit. And down here. And then I personally like to go in with a brush when I use cream products. I just feel like it blends a little bit better. And we are going to blend out the contour first. This is just what I found to work best for me. I feel like I haven't done a talking, like chit chatty makeup tutorial in so long. And I'm so happy to be doing this. Gosh, okay. And then we're gonna blend out my nose. There we go. And then cheek. And this one I like to brush like side to side and up. Can't really talk during that one. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna go on the opposite side and just kind of dab the cream highlight in. I personally feel like that already adds such a lift to your face. And then we're gonna go in with my Pixi blush. This is one of those products that I think will be forever a favorite it looks like a little deodorant stick but it's so great to use you can use it to put your blush on you can use it for your lipstick it's awesome so i just kind of make like a little heart with it <laughs> isn't that so cute and i put it right on my cheek like my apple on my cheek and then use a blush brush and these are all by real technique and i'll kind of go down and up again i do kind of have more like cheeky cheeks i don't know if it's like the right way to say it but if you don't have that just kind of put it right on top of your contour for a similar like vibe i also did grab this beautiful blush i like to add a little bit of powder on it because you can see it's very subtle and this is by jill stewart oh my gosh the packaging kills me i love it and i'm just gonna do gentle kind of add it on top love using blush i just feel like it makes you look so girly and like it's so cute and I'll add a little bit to my nose to kind of give it that sun kissed look then I'm gonna go in with this highlight and this is been a favorite it is well loved this is my Revlon photo finished highlight cream stick and I just put it on the tip of my nose draw a little line in between my brows under my brows so there's a big chunk that came off above my blush and right there okay so then I'm going to take this little blending brush for highlight from Pixi. Just blend it in. There's my highlight. I did pull out this palette. And this is the Proof is in the Pudding eyeshadow palette. Since it's date night, I thought this would be kind of fun. I forgot to grab a brush out, so we're just going to use this one. And I'm probably just going to use this light one and then like a shimmery one. So we're going to start with rice pudding. This packaging kills me. It's so funny. It's kind of... I don't like to do too much eyeshadow, personally, but just to spice it up. Okay, and then I'm going to go with butterscotch. I feel like that's funny and kind of just subtle. Let's kind of get it in the corner a little bit. I do feel like that added a nice little color. Sometimes I do like to go a little bit more with this, but not feeling that today. Then since my lips have foundation on it, we're just gonna add a little bit of lip gloss. This is from Doll 10 and it's in the shade Marilyn. Again, this order is so spontaneous today. My apologies. Then I'm gonna be taking my powder brush from Real Techniques and just blending it all in because we have a lot of cream products. So that's done and then i like to finish off with some mascara this is the l'oreal voluminous original and it is one of my tried and trues and then i also have the l'oreal lash paradise this is a dynamic duo highly recommend so what i'm going to do is start with the lash paradise and i'm going to do my top lashes one coat one coat one coat one coat then i'm going to go in with this so like two coats on your top row this i'm going to get the ends after and then do the bottom row just one coat of mascara i cannot talk when i do this but i'm going to do the same thing to this eye this one dry and put some more over here 
my biggest tip is to like start from the base of your lashes and just like slowly guide the brush up so i'm going to be done with this mascara and we are going to use this one and like i said we're going to do like the tips of it and also like if you do the backs i don't know if that makes sense but like you know how you can drag it on the back of your lashes and then I'm going to put some on the bottom row. Okay, so that is how my lashes turned out. I feel like they look so good. But since it is still summertime, I'm not going to be adding any like darker eyeshadow or eyeliner. Just because I feel like it's kind of a fresh glowy look, even though we're transitioning into fall. But I want to share with you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm going to insert that now. My top and shorts are from J. Crew. I love matching these together. It's a perfect transitional outfit. And my shoes are from Vija. I have on my Daniel Wellington watch and a Lily and Laura bracelet. I am so excited to go out on a date night. I think it's going to be so much fun. I got this video request in the comments of a previous video. So thank you so much for requesting it. If you guys have any videos that you want to see from me, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I do read and respond back to every single comment. And I love chit-chatting with you guys. And I love when you guys suggest video ideas because it seriously helps me create content that you guys want to see. And I love making content that you guys like. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and honestly might add some lip gloss once I get my purse because it's in there right now but this is the look and I just hope you guys are having a fantastic day bye guys